This house in Germany was built upside down, including every single room and all of the furniture. And it's referred to as the world stands on its head. What the fact? The facts and knowledge on weird houses. This upside down house located in Poland was created by Daniel Chapiuski. The house was meant to be a profound statement about the communist era and the state of the world. Normally built in three weeks, this house took 114 days because the workers were so disoriented by the strange angles of the walls. And many tourists complain of seasickness and dizziness after only a few minutes of being inside. The Insculptic was built by Winslow Vidian in Minnesota and was constructed almost entirely out of foam. The 4,000 square foot, two bedroom, three bathroom house has plenty of amenities including a fireplace, garage, and deck, but when it was for sale, the vaulted ceiling, rounded corners, and curved walls were the primary selling point. The Futuro house was designed by Mati Saronin and looks like a flying saucer. Fewer than 100 were built in the 60s and 70s, and the distinctive shape makes them popular among collectors. Composed of polyester plastic and fiberglass, it was designed as a ski cabin that would be quick to heat and easy to construct in rough terrain. But the house was taken off the market in the mid-70s when high gas prices made the manufacture of plastic extremely expensive. It's estimated that around 50 of the original Futuro homes are still around. The Guitar House is located in Fayetteville, Georgia and was built by country western singer Elvis Carden. The 3,800 square foot guitar shaped home took 16 years to build. The exterior walls have the perfect curves of a Gibson. It has aluminum cables across the length for strings and upon completion, Cardin released an album called Living in an Old Guitar. The Dog Bark Park Inn is a bed and breakfast inside the world's largest beagle. Located in Idaho, it was built by husband and wife owners Dennis Sullivan and Francis Conklin. Guests enter the body of the beagle from a private second story deck and the head of the dog is aloft with a cozy alcove in the muzzle. The dog bed and breakfast is nicknamed Sweet Willie and the 12 foot tall smaller beagle is named Toby. Oh and the 11 foot fire hydrant nearby contains a public restroom for humans. Joanne Ussery bought a Boeing 727 and spent $24,000 on renovations, converting it into her dream home. There are three bedrooms, a living room, and a modern kitchen. There's a jacuzzi in the cockpit, and Joanne's bedroom is in first class. She says next time she wants a Boeing 747 because those have it upstairs and she wants to go upstairs to go to bed. And there's also a guy named Bruce Campbell in Oregon who renovated his own Boeing 727 into a home, but his cost around $200,000. In Helen, Pennsylvania, there's a 48 foot long, 25 foot tall shoe house. The shoe house was completed in 1949 by shoe store owner Colonel Haynes for advertising purposes. Haynes walked up to an architect, handed him an old work boot, and said, build me a house like this. So located on Shoe House Road, it has a shoe mailbox and a boot decorated fence surrounding the yard. The dog house is shaped like a boot and every window in the shoe house is decorated with a stained glass shoe. The front door has a stained glass portrait of the Colonel holding shoes, and the current owners sell heel bossy and toe dogs out of a snack bar in the heel. Walking House is a modular dwelling system that enables people to live a peaceful nomadic life, moving slowly with minimal impact on the environment. It collects energy using solar cells and small windmills, there's a system for collecting rainwater and a system for solar heated hot water. Walking House is not dependent on roads, but actually moves on many different kinds of terrain at a slow pace similar to that of a walking human. For 33 years, Robert Bruno designed and built his steel house on the edge of a canyon. Located in Lubbock, Texas, all of the walls in the home are either welded metal or original glass creations, all designed to optimize the light and the visual experience. The late mayor of Suwon, South Korea, Shim Jae Duke, built his loo-shaped two-story home to mark the 2007 inaugural meeting of the World Toilet Association. Jay Duke, reportedly born in a restroom, made it his life's work to advocate for clean and working sanitation for more than two billion people living without toilets worldwide. The 4,520 square foot steel, concrete, and glass structure set Mayor Toilet back $1.1 million. 
It features a showcase glass walled bathroom at its center, but those concerned with privacy could turn the walls opaque at the touch of a button. It features a rooftop balcony that's accessible by a toilet drain staircase, and it's referred to as Mr. Toilet House. Located in Austria, the auto residence looks like a futuristic Volkswagen bug. Designed by Marcus Fogelrider, it has two separate living spaces that are connected by metal staircases, and there are numerous windows throughout the house making the entire car home bright and sunny. John Milkovich loved beer a lot, so he covered his house with aluminum siding made entirely of flattened beer cans. Over 18 years, he attached around 50,000 beer cans. When asked why, he said, I guess I thought it was a good idea and it's easier than painting. The house and landscape are adorned with many different types of beer that John drank mostly himself. And he even used the pull tabs and tops and bottoms to make curtains for his beer can house. I'm going to leave you with this weird house. Who designed it and what was it called? Before we go, here's last video's winner. Be sure to subscribe for more Vsauce 2 and as always, thanks for watching.